the conducting due diligence, what it involves from your perspective, why it's important, and perhaps what aspects are most critical in terms of your investment decision making? Uh, it's a great point. Uh, I think uh, it's interesting to view that Brazil, although is the uh, eighth largest GDP country in the world, when we look uh, related to doing business lists and rankings, Brazil is uh, very, very bad on those rankings. Uh, it's a very hostile market. Uh, that's not very different to other South American countries also. And what does that mean? It means that there's a, a built-in bureaucracy that has made the doing business locally uh, very hostile to foreigners where you need to be always looking behind your shoulder uh, related mm -hmm. to who are the service providers that you're using for a certain activity. It could be as simple as a legal document notarization, or it can be a very strong uh, financial due diligence. So uh, what I see is that you cannot navigate uh, the investment landscape unless you have a true local uh, partner or a true local experience with feet on the ground that knows how to uh, operate that. And I think for that matter, there are uh, company and management uh, companies, managers like ourselves that have been specialized on helping international investors to come into the region. So we are born and raised, we live there, we have a whole team, we know the difficulties and we know the challenges that need to be uh, addressed. And this is something that's a structural bureaucracy and structural uh, issues that were built over the last uh, decades and decades. And we're not talking about anything related to corruption. Oh, you need to know who's this guy or that. No, that's not it. Mm -hmm. It's really knowing the tax infrastructure. It's knowing the process to open a company, the process to close a company, uh, mm -hmm. the labor laws, which are different in, in each one of the regions. So I believe that a international investor needs to have that kind of a very thorough due diligence and using local partners. We see also uh, a very big differentiation between managers, well, at least fund managers that are catering towards international investors and fund managers are catering, catering towards local investors. They tend to have a very different compliance uh, structure. Our case, for instance, we follow US SEC regulation to uh, make sure that we have uh, US uh, level standards of uh, compliance and structure, while a lot of our, let's say, uh, local competitors that simply focus on local Brazilian money, they don't need to have any kind of a SEC oversight. So I think this is something that for an, a general investor needs to look uh, it with more detail. What are some of the critical 